My perfect buddy, Cody, he's a uh, parolee. We know before Cody Green even gets there that he could be trouble. He's got a, a history with police. He was on uh, probation for drunk driving. He tells me in our discussion that he got into trouble again for, I guess, leaving the scene of an accident. And um, here he is, about to get in trouble yet another time. He's not coming for the handcuffs. He's coming he for come the other thing. He <laughs> wants to meet Chris Hansen. Cody Green shows up in this fairly new, expensive, you know, Cadillac SUV. Maddie. Hey, I'm up here. Yeah, I'm still driving to the washer, but I made some sweet tea. Come on in. He comes in, he's got his cap on, and he's ready to, to meet his dream date. Yeah, I made some tea and it's on the table. Did you bring me my chocolate? Hey! Why don't you just step right over there, please? Should you have a seat right in that chair? Please, sit down. I'm in the green with this, so I swear to I, I, need, I need you to sit down and you can tell me all about it, I promise. Please, sir, I really drove this far for no reason. You drove this far for no reason? Yes, sir. I swear to you, I asked her, and I swear to you, I asked her this. I you asked you asked who? I asked Maddie. T -t Take your time. I'm going to let you explain the whole thing. Yes, sir, it's fine. I said, if this is really not what you're looking for, I really want you to tell me that. Because I will come over, and I will, I swear, I will just be with you, and I will not touch you, anything like that, is what I said. And I can prove that to you. I will show it to you. You'll show me how. Please, I really, I swear, sir, I'm a desperate person. I need a girl in my life, and I'm, if she really wanted to be my friend, that would be all I needed from her. I've never hurt anyone. I've never done anything. I would not have hurt her. Now, what did you bring with you? Chocolate, like she asked me. He's most likely there to get food for the decoy. I think she said that was one thing he was supposed to do. And White chocolate? That, yes, sir. That's what I told her I was bringing. What about condoms? Yes, sir. I have them also, but that was not my intention. I swear to you, sir. What were you going to use the condoms for? She told me to bring them also. So you did everything just because she told you? Yes, sir. I swear to you that is the reason for it. Then why did you send her pictures like this? Because she asked me to. She asked you to send she pictures? She asked me to send new pictures, I know. Right. So there's a big difference between sending a photograph of yourself and sending pictures of your genitals. It's not like the decoys are asking to be sent these pictures. I mean, this is, these guys offer it right up. Did you say you are ready to have my thang in your mouth? Yes, sir. What do you mean by that? Are you ready to have my in your mouth? Pretty much what I meant. Because she was... She was going with it. She was... Oh, so she wanted it. That's what it it's seemed like fault. to me. She says, you don't mind I'm a virgin? You say, if you don't mind me taking it from you, I actually would love it and never have been with a virgin. I know it's not respectful, but I was just asking her if she wanted to do that or not. This is not even like I was just looking for girls that were this young and I was looking to get in trouble and everything like this because I was telling her this. I was like, this is illegal on phone conversations, on online, stuff like that. And I was like, you swear to me, you're not gonna get me in trouble. And I swear I will never disrespect you, is what I was pretty much meaning to So you're the victim here? No, sir, I'm not the victim. I came here for, yes, for reasons like that. But if she really didn't want it, sir, I swear to you, I would have never tried it. But if she was open to the idea? Yes. You would have had sex with a 13-year-old girl? Probably, right? yeah. Why, because it's so alluring to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? It's just something that you, you'll probably never have again. That would be probably the cleanest, best pleasure, I would say. The cleanest, best pleasure yes, sir. is to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Yes, sir. You can't meet any girls who are 20 years old? No, sir, I really can't. You got that nice truck out there? Yes, sir. Got the clothes thing going on? That's, that's material, sir. Girls. Girls look deeper for what they want in guys. Well, that's something you got to know. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Yes, sir. Have you seen one of our computer predator shows before? No, sir. This is one of them. We're doing stories on adults who try to meet teens on the internet for sex. 
If there's anything else you want to tell us, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to walk out that door. Based upon the items found in his SUV, it looked like Cody Green was planning to spend the night. I mean, he had spare clothes, condoms, you know, everything was there. Watch this. Follow him, follow him. He is not backing down, Cody Green. You know, gives the cameraman the finger. He's defiant till the end. What's your right hand for? Shower, shampoo, and change out and put on one of the black and white uniforms. Um, I mean, you get caught once, you take your punishment, you get some help, and you move on with your life, but you get caught twice. I mean, that raises serious questions about your ability to be rehabilitated. I think a lot of these guys, once they're caught, realize how stupid it was for them to do it. Some of these guys just don't ever think it could happen to them. Police, FBI, they do these investigations across the country every day, but they can only be in so many places. So the odds are overwhelmingly in the potential predator's favor of not getting caught. In spite of the challenges, we still had 24 guys show up in like four days. Some of these guys got, you know, four years or more in prison.
cleanest, best pleasure.